Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me today for another Tuesday with Grace. Um, I'm really excited about today's um, broadcast because I get to talk about one of my all-time favorite machines, the Kinique 19. Now, asking me what product I like is like asking me which kid is my favorite. I love them all, but I'm a little partial to some more than others. And this is one of them that I'm very fond of. So. Anyway, let me jump in and talk to you about the Kinique 19. It is a fantastic machine. If you're wanting to upgrade from your <clears throat> domestic machine to a longer arm, this is a great machine to transition to. It's lightweight. Um, it's very lightweight. It's easy to move. So if you are losing your body mass and you're finding um, the heavier machines hard to move across your quilt, this is a great machine for you to do that with um, because of the lightweight. And you're not losing any of the integrity of the machine because of the lightness of it. It is just so easy and it makes it so easy to glide across your quilt um, without that heavy. So let me show you, talk to you about the handles as well. It comes with the adjustable handles. So you can turn them in, out, so you can position them just to the right specifications as you're quilting. Sometimes we need to quilt a little closer, so it'd be nicer to have them down. Other times we want them away, out of our way, so we can see our needle. You know, so you can adjust the handles just how you want to adjust them, okay? And they have this little screw here, so it makes it a little easier for you to loosen and tighten and really make it nice for you to, you know, when you're using rulers and the ruler work and the templates and things, you want the, the handles so that you can easily press on the buttons. So find the position that works well for you. And you might have to just um, do a little testing and find those positions, but it's very easy to reposition at any time. So let's jump in and talk about the threading. So like all of our machines, our Cunique uh, machines, it comes with an M-class bobbin, which is a larger bobbin. Fantastic. You don't run out of the bobbin thread as much as you do with your domestic machine. One of those great reasons that you want to upgrade. And um, then you can use the full size um, spools. Now this is our um, finesse thread. Just notice how it sits on this um, shaft very nicely and it's easy to thread. So this machine has instructions on the little plastic pieces on how to thread it. So if you have a hard time remembering how to thread it, this is an awesome machine because it's going to show you every step of the way. It's very easy to adjust your tension with this machine as well um, because of all the calculations that we put into it. And as you're threading, it comes up and it has a thread cutter. Now, it's not an automatic thread cutter, but it's awesome. The thread cutter is right here off the left side, right here towards the back. And you just are going to put your thread right there and cut. So that's a nice little nifty tool as well. Um, another reason. Now, you can use all the different styles of feet on this machine and it has a touch screen so that you can change from one mode to the next with just the touch of your hand or your finger. Um, it's very easy for you to go through and use the different modes. So let's just go through them and let me show you how they work. Now we're going to start out with the regulated precise mode. The regulated precise mode, as you are moving the machine, when you stop moving the machine, the needle is going to stop. So it allows you a little bit of thinking time. So when you're use, choosing your different modes, just remember that regulated precise mode, if you're not very sure of your design and you need a little thinking time about which direction you want to move, regulated precise mode is a great mode to use for that. So let's just jump in. Now you can adjust the SPI and the SPI are the stitches per inch. And so you can raise them so you have a little bit smaller stitches or lower them so you have a little bit bigger stitch. Um, and then these numbers right down underneath that are preset 
SPI. So we have 6, 10, and 14. So if you want to just tap on those, it'll automatically adjust to that preset. So if you wanted to move down to 6, you just tap on it, and it goes to 6 SPI, and then 10, and so forth. And 10 is what it comes with. So anyway, and then right underneath here it has a nifty little feature called the needle jog. So if you're using the automation, um, and you want your needle a little closer when you're making your placements or when you're following a design, so just have a little practice. This needle jog jogs the needle down in slight increments, and you can go all the way down into your quilt and then just pull it back up. But that's how it works. It's just an awesome little feature. There we go. And then we can pull up our thread. Right down below here, we have the needle position. It'll stop either in the down position or the up position. So if you want to quickly, um, ha if you have it down and you're ready to move and cut your threads, you can tap on it and it'll move it up. Then right here we have our overspeed. Our overspeed is to remind you that you're moving your machine faster than it can actually sew. So you can actually turn that overspeed off so it's not beeping at you all the time. Um, but when you're first learning a quilt and getting to know your machine, it's really nice to have that overspeed on so that you can make your movements nice and fluid and adjust them and recalculate how fast you're moving as you're moving across your quilt. So that's a really good feature to start out with, but it gets a little annoying. So make sure that you turn it off when you know your machine. Okay, and then right here we have what we call a single stitch. It just takes the needle down and back up again to make a single stitch. It's great for when you want to pull up your bottom thread um, and then quickly cut and move along. So those are all these nifty little features on your screen. So let me show you how easy it is to change your settings. So if you come over here, you see this little cog wheel, like this little wheel with little spokes on it, that is where you're going to go into and set your settings. So, notice that we have our settings, we can set it, um, our, our measurements from inch to centimeters for all of you international cust customers, and then we can do a full stitch or a half stitch. Now, that means the needle will go down it will go down into it for a half stitch and then you have to tap on the needle again the, or the button and bring it back up. So that's a half stitch. A full stitch is when the needle, when you're pressing on the needle up down button, it makes a one full stitch so it does it all at once so you don't have to press the button again. So instead of taking the needle down and then you have to push the button again to bring it back up, you press on the button, if you push full stitch then it will go down and back up, and then you can just move on. So that's the difference between half stitch and full stitch. You can change your buttons, your, your handles from left to right handed. And then we have our screen settings. So if you don't like this lovely blue color, you can change it to green or a little pinkish color. Um, and then you can turn your light on and off. And then the little eye is more information. So let's just go back and we're gonna press the little house right here and that takes us back to our home screen. And now I'm on regulated precise. So let's see how well this works. So I'm just gonna come down over here and I'm just gonna insert my needle and bring up my bottom thread because I don't want it dangling down underneath. Just one of those things that you easily do. And notice it was um, a half stitch, okay? So the needle went down and I had to press it again and it stayed down to bring my thread back up. That's a half stitch. I could change it to full stitch. Let's do that so you can show, so I can show you how it works. So I want to change it from full stitch and then I want to go back home. And then, see, it's just one full stitch. So very easy, so you choose what you like. Sometimes when I'm using the ruler base and rulers, I like the half stitch because um, it just allows me to leave the needle in a down position, reposition my ruler, um, and then tie it off. So it just makes a difference. Um, you choose how you want to quilt. Okay, so let me just turn it on right here, and then I'm just going to use my on and off buttons. And I pull my thread up, and notice that as I'm moving across my quilt,
how much fun it is to do my little spirals. But if I stopped, the needle would stop moving. I love regulated precise for that reason. All right, so let's jump into regulated cruise mode. And it's easy to change from one mode to the other just with the touch of the button. I'm really excited to talk to you about regulated cruise mode. I use this mode a lot. I use all of them a lot. So you choose what mode works best for you and how you are quilting. So let me go through and show you how regulated cruise mode works and a little bit about the screen. So in regulated cruise mode, <clears throat> You have your SPIs, which are, again, are your stitches per inch. Uh, you have your plus and your minus, so you can raise and lower them. But right underneath it, it has minimum speed. This is how fast the needle is going to move up and down. So I'll show you how that works. Sometimes you want it to move a little faster, and sometimes you'll want it to move a little slower as you're quilting. And then again, you have your needle jog, and the same thing, you have your overspeed, your needle down, and your full stitch. So let's, let me show you about the minimum speed, and let me move it down to the lowest, which is 5%. So the needle is going to move up and down very, very slow, but I'm going to adjust it in increments so you can see how fast it'll start moving. So I'm just going to turn it on, and we're in regulated cruise mode. So notice how the needle is moving up and down, and it doesn't stop. So even if I'm stopped, the needle is not going to stop. See, I'm stopped moving. So you want to make sure that you keep this moving at all times, even if it's at a slow movement, because you don't want to build up that thread down underneath <clears throat> on your quilt. So notice that as I stop my minimum speed, now I can tuck. And see, it's going a little faster. Then I'm going a little, I'll tap it again. Now it's 15. So the slower I move it, my stitches get really, really tinny. So I want to, if I'm going to raise that minimum speed up, I'm going to want to move it faster to make my stitches look a little nicer. I don't want teeny tiny stitches. And then you've got 20. So just remember as you raise or lower your speed to kind of adjust your movements. It's really important to learn how to quilt and give it, give you the best success that you need possible. So that's kind of regulated cruise mode. I love this mode too. I really have a good time. You have to stop me from quilting because I really like it. And then the regulated cruise works really well if you're stippling because it gives you those little extra stitches. And if you're micro stippling, ah, uh, really great mode for making those round, smooth corners. I like regulated crews when I'm doing rounded pebbling or curvy designs, regulated precise when I come into a point. It just gives me a crisper point so when you're quilting flames, Anyway, that's regulated cruise mode. One mode that I know you're gonna love. So let me jump in and show you my next mode. Now we have a base mode. So you get short, medium, and long based. I, you know, I used to not like the base mode, but I've started using it more and more to tack designs down and quilt around them. So I love it and it works really well and it's really nice to have all three sizes. So I'm gonna jump past this and show you manual mode. I use manual mode all the time. So if I have drawn a design on it, manual mode is just a little bit smoother um, feel and it really allows you to stay on the little path or the drawing that you have um, drawn on your quilt. So let me show you again, in manual mode, it's taking you out of stitch regulation. So you are no longer connected to what we call the encoders. So it's not gonna adjust the stitch length or help you with that at all. So you are totally in charge of that, but it's a great mode to get used to. So put on that practice quilt and practice your manual mode. So right here we have our plus and minus. That is not SPI, that is speed. 
That's the speed that you're going to move it and how fast the needle is going to go up and down. Now, we also have our presets. We have at 100. If you can quilt fast at 100 speed, wow, you are amazing. Um, you'll want to lower it, but just adjust the speed to what you're doing. So if it's a design that you know and love, like a stipple design or pebbling, you can raise the speed up. But if it's a new design and you don't know it, lower the speed down so it allows you that little thinking gun. But again, you know, it matters how fast or slow you move it. So let's start it out at the lowest speed. Now I'm going to talk to you about this. Okay. Okay. So we're at 20%. Okay. And notice that if I'm moving it pretty slow, it gives me a pretty nice stitch, but it's pretty small. But if I start moving faster, then it can actually sew, that needle can go up and down. See those long stitches that I'm getting? Okay. So I've turned it up to 25% and notice that it's a little faster. But you want to adjust your movements. All right, let's try it at 30%. See how it moves a little faster? But if I move it really slow at 30%, the small little stitches I'm going to get. So I want to adjust my movements and make it a little faster. I don't want to, but I don't want to move it too fast. So with the manual mode, you're just going to have to learn. And you can get really good at this eyeballing and just your movement. I like manual mode because it allows you to just kind of follow along, have those smooth stitches. It's a fun mode to practice in. And like I said, it takes you out of stitch regulation, but just practice, practice, practice. There we go. I'll stop. I like quilting. <laughs> so once you get in that groove, you don't want to stop. And anyway, it's just a lot of fun. So make sure that you're practicing before you get started on any new machine. Like again, this is a great transition. This machine here is so awesome. It fits on all of our frames from the cutie tabletop fabric frame to our continuum frame. It fits on all of them, all the hoop frames that we make right now. So it is a great upgrade. So if you're tired of using your domestic machine, taking it on and off your frame to do your piecing, think about this. It's going to be at a great sell price and it is easy to put on and off the frame. So anyway, let me just talk to you about the nice knot throat space. 19 inches wow it works really well if you have one of our older frames as well doesn't work on all of them but it's worth a call um, and ask if this is a good upgrade for you that you've had one of the older frames and you want to upgrade to the 19. so anyway just check it out check about check out all the wonderful features online at graceframe.com and then make sure that you registered for tuesdays with grace um, thank you for joining me today. I will see you next time with more fabulous ideas and things for you to do. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for joining us after <laughs> the fact. Here I have the wonderful uh, and handsome yes. Mark Martin. The so, handsome part is right. Yes. Wonderful. Absolutely. I don't know. But handsome, you're um, on the you know, He has his moments. Mm. But he's more wonderful on days than others. But yeah, yeah today's doing a wonderful job. So <laughs> thank you, Carla. And it's always I always say this, but it's always true. Um, in fact, I just got done doing a show in Hampton, Virginia. Oh dang. I and, love that show. Oh, yeah, you, everybody loves you there too. When I was there, everybody kept asking, Where's Carla? Oh, we love Carla's Tuesdays I with Grace. To be Carla, there, Carla, Mark. Carla, Carla. I'm like, like 
all of us there was all about Carla. You were the star no, of the show, no, and no. you weren't even there. So it's always awesome to be on set with you, Carla. Yeah, it's fun. Mark's always fun, and he is wonderful to work with. And so we're going to have a great time because we're going to give away some free items. So I know you're excited to get to that. But first, we have to get through some little shout outs and some mm. sales promotions for next month for this month actually it's the first day of march yeah, i forget march. Yeah, we're wearing, we're wearing our green. green that's right <laughs> it's an ode to our heritage our you know our 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 heritage from the isles of ireland so mm. that's where my family's from my mom's family so and that's the grace part of me so a shout out to them so let's yeah. just begin and let's go through, um, uh, first of all, before we begin, I wanted to show a picture of a sewing studio. And, you know, she was so sweet to send me a picture of her sewing studio. And you know I love pictures, and I love showing what you guys are all working on. This is from Sweet Michelle Turner, and she is organizing her sewing stu studio, and she used the pink little mini quilt clips on her frame, and she has the Cunique 19 uh, on a hoop frame, and it's just a wonderful setup. So if you can see that picture there, um, just look at that beautiful quilt on there, and just congratulate Michelle on her beautiful room, because I wish mine looked like that. So, <laughs> so she's just organizing it very nicely nicely and so thank you Michelle and if any of you have pictures that you want to show off what you're doing I'd love to see them and so send them to me it's Carla with a K K-A-R-L-A at graceframe.com and we'll show them live here on Tuesdays with Grace so now that we have that out of the way let's jump in and talk about some promotions and yeah, that'd be, I love promotions. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of promotions too, yeah, and yeah. it just is so exciting because it gets more of our quilters involved with our product. Um, we love being able to be a part of the community. You know, we run promotions all the time. And so March 1st, or the beginning of every month, we always do these uh, hit offs. Right. And so it's exciting. Do you want to do the promotion right now, Carlo, or should we kind of walk them through? Um, or should we talk a little bit about what we're giving away and then we'll give some away later? What, what would you like okay, to do? Okay, that's fine. Should we walk through yeah. kind of how, how do we get yeah, um, so and how to register? We, yeah, we want you to know how to register and you can sign up for a spring fling right now. Register for a spring fling. Um, and we don't have all the classes on there yet, but we will. So just make sure that you are getting ready for a spring fling at the end of this month. It's going to be wonderful, fantastic, and exciting. You know, it's going to be big. All right, so as much as we would like to get on the, the giveaways, we're going to let you just sweat it out a little bit as we talk about <laughs> um, the registration and what you can do on our website. Okay, so if you go to uh, graceframe.com, and on here, we're going to just scroll down, and here's where you can go uh, to register. So click on Tuesdays with Grace, and up here, you're going to be able to have uh, sign in, and so I'm already signed in, so if we log out, Right here, you can register or log in. If you've already registered, great, you can go and log in. If you haven't registered yet, do so, because that's where the winners come from. At least uh, all of them, right? right. All, the, all of that's them. That's where they come from, and that's where we're picking them from. So if you are not registered, you're really missing out. Yes, get on there. Okay, so we can go back to the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And we'll hit log in there. All right. So hi, and it even says, hi, whatever your name is, welcome to your account dashboard, which is really cool. And then from here on your left, you could have community chat, my cool entries, my events, edit profile. If we go to my events, is when you can save, uh, save all the, if you have events coming up. So if you go to the homepage, here's where you have the event schedule. So you can schedule and save the event. So you won't miss it out on, on, your, next, on your next Tuesday with Carla. You can, you can go on there and, and save it. So here you can come through. And Carl, this is nice because we have all the month, right. right? March 8th, 15th, 22nd. So they're all planned out and you can save it so you don't miss a beat. And this is where you can get your patterns and designs and download them. I'm always giving you some good ideas and new patterns and designs. And when Mark's done showing you, I'll show you what we're going to be working on this next Ooh, month. I like that. All right. And then we also have our giveaways. So here, um, and it also has a, the winner, so you guys can see who won before, which is pretty nice, but this is where we do all of our giveaways. Right. Um, so check that out. 
Um, and then the quilt show. So here at the quilt show, um, they're you know submitting. You can view the galleries. Please go on, right, Carla? It is Bye. so nice as a quilter just to see what people are saying or that people share and yeah. like. It's really nice that people notice what you what you've done and what you quilted because you worked hard on those quilts. Yeah, and we're a unique group of quilters. We are not critical. We are supportive, and we love everything you do. So really important for you to show off all your wonderful quilting and whatever you're working on because we want to see it. We want to support you and we want to just make quilting the best experience possible and we're your local support group so please sign up and enter that's right so if you click on any of them you can then read the description um, find out who did it you could leave a comment so again you know we we um, are happy to see all these comments and we urge you to go on and, right. and write the comments for all these wonderful quilters that posted all these beautiful quilts. So take time to do that and maybe one of these will inspire you or you can see a pattern you might want to change it up. Right. And that's what I love is that you make any pattern or design your own and interject a part of you in everything you do. That's right. I forgot to show this too. There were voting, right? What right. happens when people vote for the quilts, Carla? Because you can vote for a quilt when you're on it. Right up here, you can vote. What does that do? Uh, it just means that you're getting several votes and you're, you're showing it off on Facebook and social media. And, and you know, we just love that about our quilters. And, and, and that's just another way that we are going to support you. Um, you know, you may think something looks kind of dull and doldrum, but we all are going to say, hey, it's beautiful. What else are you doing? What else are you working on? So vote for those quilts and, you know, give them those thumbs up because they want to see that for everybody. Yeah, that's right. Um, so it's really easy. If you haven't, again, done that, it's really right. easy. Just go to graceframe.com, go and register, uh, get in there so you have the chances to win these wonderful gifts, um, and then also save these wonderful classes. Like you had said, there's tons right. of classes coming up, and you're about to talk over um, yeah. some. I'm going to answer a couple of questions that I didn't know if they got answered or not. Um, the 19, what's so unique about the 19 is that it fits on most of our frames, okay? So our, all it fits on actually all of our yeah. current frames that we make, um, but if you are curious and you have an older frame and you want to know if the 19 will work, it would be a good phone call or a chat item. Just um, call our 800 number, that's 800-264-0644 or call your local dealer. They are a great resource for helping you um, find out questions, answers to your questions. And so please contact your local dealer because we want to keep them involved and keep them in business for as long as we can. Times are tough. And so if we don't support them, who's going to? So we want to make sure that you're going to your dealer and they're helping you out with all your needs. Before you go any further, Mm -hmm. I just have to say the 19 because you love the 19. Oh, I love the 19. My wife has the 19. She right. went from the 15 to the 19. I love, um, now I'm around all the time, but Carla, we always hear intimidating. Right. And the 21 is a wonderful machine, don't get me wrong, but the 19 is non intimidating. It's nope. so light. Yeah. It is so easy to move around. Um, if you ever use one of our Cunic machines, you already know how easy it is to move around on the frames. But the 19, even though it's 19 inches, it right. is a really, really light machine. Yeah. It's easy to thread, easy to maintain. So if you've been looking at one of our Cuniques, now is a month to get it. Right. We'll go over the, the promotions, but now is a month to get it. It is on sale. But it's such an easy, easy machine to use. I just wanted to throw that out yeah, there. Yeah, and, and that is a good point. It is lightweight and really important. And I told you the story about my sweet mother-in-law and how it's just let her quilt that much longer because they can get a little heavy. And, you know, you, you do get tired. And so we just want to support our quilters as much as we can and keep them quilting for as long as we can. So let me just answer a couple of questions really quick. I, I answered the question that it fits on, but please call your local dealer. Um, then, um, what foot does it come with? I think they answered that. It comes with one foot, but we have lots of feet available um, that do specific things. So, you know, check them out on our website to see the accessory. And this week, this uh, month, the 19 comes with a little accessory package mm -hmm. as well. So that's really nice. And yes, whoever asked if it is the same screen as the 15 Pro, it is. It is the exact same screen. So 
Those are the questions that we answered. Um, let me jump in and talk to you about what we're um, showing the videos on Tuesdays with Grace this month. It's a fun pattern. I love this pattern. It's called Carly's Kaleidoscope. It's a pattern. Love that name, by the way. Yeah. Love that name. It's a pattern and a design. I ha we have it hanging up, one version of it hanging up. I told you, I get really bored. And I have to, if I'm doing a pattern over again, I have to switch it up. So this is one of those patterns and designs that maybe, um, I did this last year around this time, that maybe you might want to try it again and try a different version of it um, this time. So check it out, um, all these different versions. The one I have behind me. Um, it's kind of a little psychedelic, a little fun, but it was the blues and greens. And then I have this version that a lot of you have seen in ads and things like that. But this one is just very colorful, but it has a sashing around it um, to just kind of make it a little different looking. So there are a lot of different ways to create and use these triangles um, to make different um, different ideas in the quilt. So, so interject a little bit of you, see what you can do with the pattern and, and just have fun exploring all your options and, and how to quilt it. This one, I, I did them both with the automation, but notice with the sashing, I was able to use the sashing and do a fun little sashing around it. I added these little blocks in between that just bright and fun and colorful and totally different look than the one behind us. So yeah, make sure that you check out those videos and see what we do. And, and I'd love to see what you're working on. So She does. She really means it too. So if you're working on any of the projects um, that yeah. are near and dear to you, send them over to Carla, like she said, because she loves to see them. And, you know, we maybe we'll highlight some of those. Cause oh, I everybody will. Is I such promise a, you, I will highlight them. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's beautiful. Now, let's talk about the promotions we have yes, going on this month. talk about the promotions. This month, as I mentioned, the 19 Carla is on sale yes. for $56.99. Wow. Yeah, $56.99. That's a really good price. Um, now's the time to think of an upgrade as well. So if you have a smaller machine, you're thinking an upgrade, this is a great time to introduce a new machine. Absolutely. Normally it is roughly about $7,000 oh, yeah. for the machine. So $56.99. Um, but you also get an, an accessory pack. Uh, so I know you do a lot of uh, ruler right. work yourself. And there's a lot of quilts you Love made. Ruler work. And there's videos that we have already uh, made. Uh, but it comes with a ruler base. Oh, God. Yeah. A hopping foot set, mm -hmm. uh, bobbins, needles, and mini quilt clips with this package. That's over $300 value that you get for free with the Cunic 19. So again, the Cunic 19 is on sale, $56.99, normally $7,000. And now you can start doing, you know, if you like to do cross hatching or any right. other designs, you Larger have that ruler. quilting area. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is a big difference from the 15 to the 19 and even um, from your small domestic 9 inch or 13 inch machine to a 19 inch. It, it really does make a huge difference in the way you quilt and the designs that you can create. It does. Now, that's just a head. So if you're thinking about a frame, we yeah. have our number one frame on sale this month. Can you think about what frame that is? Oh yeah, it's our little cutie it's our frame. Cutie. That's right, <laughs> $6.89. So if you think about it, $56.99 plus $6.89, you're only looking, I think it's like 63, little over $6,300 for a frame and a machine to do your quilt. So if you're one of those that like, oh, I don't have space and you're right. looking around your room, that picture we saw earlier, she did a good job like cleaning up her right. room, right? But I don't have space. The cutie, if you haven't already seen or know, yeah. but the cutie can go anywhere. Yeah. It's non-dedicated. You don't have to have a dedicated spot. So get the cutie, get the uh, 15 or the Cutic 19, and why it's on sale, um, and, and, and quilt along. Now, if you already have a machine and you want to upgrade your frame, the cutie again is on sale for $6.89, or you can get it with the bundle package for $8.89, and we, we're it's a great bundle. Yes, it's a good bundle. Do you know what's in that bundle, Carla? I'm going to throw you on the spot. 
Yeah, you know I can oh. tell you what's in the bundle. Yes. Okay, the hoop cloth leaders mm. are in that bundle, and a quilter's combo, which is a true sharp, um, the six and a half by twenty-four and a half inch ruler. Um, it's a forty-five millimeter comfort cutter and a set of true grips, and that's what's in the quilter's combo. And then you, that's two hundred dollars extra mm -hmm. with that purchase of 889 that's an extremely good deal because if you added them all up yeah that's 200 dollars more that you're getting at that great price that's right so qd on its own 689 if you want to go ahead and get it with the 19 that's even a better deal mm -hmm. or you can get it with the bundle package for 889 uh, to go with your already um, sewing machine whether you own a qni right. or your own domestic and you are wanting to get away from moving the fabric underneath the machine let's move uh -huh. your machine yeah. on top of the fabric you're turning your domestic into a long arm right essentially right right and it's so much easier. You're, you, you can do designs. How many of you out there are, you, when you try to do swirls, and I know you try this because you done sit down quilts, but if you're trying to do swirls or circles or feathers or even stippling, how, how I don't say hard, but it is a little challenging no, to do it, right? it is challenging. Um, and kudos to all of you that have perfected mm -hmm. that art because you are, you know, just among many beautiful quilters. Um, for me, it, it's more difficult. I'm not as artistic and maybe as patient as some of you out there. And so I just need a little bit easier way to turn my machine into a quilting machine. And that's with using it on a carriage and moving it across the quilt and letting the machine do most of the work rather than I'm doing all the work. So that makes a huge difference. Big difference. It's going to relieve the stress. Yeah. You know, you talk about shoulder pain, quilter's maybe even neck. Rip. Yeah, quilter's <laughs> neck. That's right. Quilter's neck. <laughs> your your body's going to love that you got the cutie frame because it will be no more pain in your shoulders. Quilter's neck. That's a good way. That I, yeah, I heard that term a lot. So yeah. Anyway, get your shirt stitch or not your shirt stitch. I'm I'm going off with a lot of other hey, products. Hey, just to a show. So <laughs> that's right. Get your cutie. Yeah. With the bundle or get your cutie on its own and bundle it with a Cunic 19 uh, for about, I want to say it's like 60, a little over $6,300 for both yeah. of them. And that makes it a dedicated quilting system where you don't have to take the machine on and off to do your piecing. You have your piecing machine where you can hurry and piece and then you don't have to put it back on the frame um, when you're ready to quilt. This is a dedicated quilting machine that can just, you know, to stay up with it and it's ready for you when you're ready to do your quilting. So, yep. great deal. Now, automation. You mentioned you did your wonderful, beautiful quilt here with automation mm -hmm. and the one behind. Yes. So this month, 25% off with Love the purchase the of the 19. So if you, again, were thinking and you've been putting it off, putting it off, Bye. putting it off, 25% when you buy it with the Cunic 19. Um, birthdays, anniversaries, if you have some special event coming up, treat yourself and get this automation with the 19. You're going to love it. So 25% off when you purchase a Cunic 19, which is fantastic. And Robin says the cutie fits in an RV. Yeah, mm. It can go with you, you know, so, you know, you think of a little portable and you, will, you love quilting. I love quilting and I know you all do too. So it's one of those little frames that you can take with your portable domestic machine with you anywhere. Yeah, so it'd be fun to see all the places that you take it and go. Um, so show us the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yep, automation. I saw one that dreaming of automation. These dreams can come true. I know that sounds <laughs> sleazy or, or whatever you want to say, but it's true. We have these dreams um, and we have to start somewhere. That's how dreams are created. You start somewhere. So yeah. let's start that dream, make it a reality, have fun with quilting, uh, perfect the art with automation, enjoy mm -hmm. it, and really, really just come into your own. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments or questions? No, I think they're ready oh. for us to move on Ooh, to the big time. I we, am ready too. We kind of babbled on for a long time yes, and my we, we kept hurting. just waiting there. Yeah. So we're going to get to the really important part, um, our, our little giveaway. And, and, and we just, again, want to thank you all for being supportive and being a part of 
our great community here at the Grace Company. Uh, we could not do this without you, and thank you so much. You are so near and dear to us and so important to us, and we just want you to know how much we really appreciate all of you. Um, that's from Mark and everybody that works here. Thank you. And so let's get to let's get our started. drawings. Okay. Okay, give me box number one because okay. I want to go. No I want number one. <laughs> All right, Mark gets box number one. All right, so this is a hundred dollar gift card. So let's find out who is a lucky winner of a hundred dollar gift card. You can put towards any of the specials we have yeah, going on. Yeah, but that's really important. It makes so. that cutie frame a lot more uh, a lot more exciting. Yeah, drum roll, drum roll. Give me that drum roll. All right. Oh my goodness. It's, okay. It's a tough name. <laughs> I'm going to butcher this name. Yeah, yeah. Sorry I'm, in advance. <laughs> I'm, yep. I'm already apologizing right now. So, so please, please forgive me. Probably a couple ways you can say this. Um, let's go ahead. Is it like Mianje or Miantai a Slabbert? So like Mianje or Miantai Slabbert. It's a beautiful and name, and we, and we want in. you to know that. Yes. <laughs> it, we know it's probably Let's from another in. country. Let's zoom in on this. Not Ireland. <laughs> no, not Ireland. So we can get a zoom in here. We're going to put it in there. I'll, I'll go ahead and spell it too. Um, so we're going yeah, to get a picture. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. $100. That's fantastic. So we're there it is. We're going to say M. Slabbert. <laughs> yeah, M. Slabbert. That's, that's what I should have done instead of embarrassing myself. <laughs> So, M. Slabbert, congratulations. Well, congratulations. That's $100 towards whatever you want. That's right. And they'll contact you um, to let you um, get your little certificate. So, All right. The okay. next one. The next one. It's really easy. Oh, give me an easy one. Good. I did a lot of talking, Mark. You go ahead. Yes, another $100 gift card. Mm -hmm. And the winner of this one, drum roll, Carla, is Anita Cooper. Congratulations. Anita. Yes, congratulations. That's awesome. So Anita Cooper. Oh, let's, uh, let's get a zoom in here. There we go. That way we're being serious when we have the names. Yes. Congratulations. Right, Anita now, Carla, since you're the star of the show, yeah. I'm going to let you do the grand Cunic. prize. Okay. The grand prize for the new Cunique 19 that you get is... Harold oh, Magill. Yeah, I, I gave you drum roll. Ah, you did. Thank yes. It. So anyway, Harold, congratulations. You are the owner of a new Kinec 19. You'll love the machine. It's so nice to have that extra quilting area because of the throat space. It's easy, lightweight, and I just know you'll love it as much as we do. So, congratulations, Yeah, Harold. congratulations. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, we are really appreciate it, and we know you are very busy in all that you do, and to take time out to visit with us today it really means a lot. Um, and we will let you know what shows we're going to be at, so we'd love to see you and, you know, just support you any way we can. And so... Um, join us next week where we're going to start our series, which is, um, I think it's three or four parts um, for the Kaleidoscope Quilt. Um, if you've already made one, let's try a different version and make sure that you um, register so you can download the pattern with the different ideas and I would love to see what you're doing. And so. Before we sign off, because that was wonderful right there, let's tell Harold also, so he got the Cunic 19 but with the frame and the accessory pack. Oh, I see. Yeah. It, it's a twofer. Two, yeah, <laughs> so you get the Q-Zone hoop frame and the accessory pack we talked about. So the ruler base, all that fun stuff with the hoop right. frame, with the 19. That, I know Carla was just leaving price. that. I didn't yeah, even she know was that. Leaving so. that for, she was leaving that for me. She gave me a hard name, so she, she felt bad for me. So. I did, I did. <laughs> well, yeah, congratulations. So it's a whole system. And, and if you're looking for a whole new system, make sure that you look at our website and see all the, all the systems available. And, you know, ask questions because we want it to be the right fit for you and your needs. I don't want you to buy something that's out of your price range. I want you to buy something that's going to work for you and last for you a long time so you don't have to reinvest. So 
Make sure that you're asking the questions that you feel are needful and we're here and your local dealers are here to support you and help you in any way possible. Okay, I love it. All right, we'll see you next time. So Thank join you. us next week. Take care. See ya. Bye-bye.